Climate change is a hot topic right now, not just for our politicians, but for everyone from our farmers to our fishermen. And here is one of the first places to feel the impacts of climate change. Rising seas and water temperatures, changing currents and acidity levels all have huge impacts on our oceans and habitants. But scientists here in Tasmania have discovered that it's not all bad news for our fisheries. One of the main indicators of climate change is ocean warming. So researchers from the CSIRO Marine Labs take regular samples of the water off Mariah Island near Hobart. They're monitoring changes in water temperature, but also other crucial factors like acidity levels. Then we sample for dissolved oxygen, salinity, uh, three nutrients, um, dissolved inorganic carbon and alkalinity. That will give us a, a good overall picture of the uh, water properties at each in individual depth through the water column. This testing has been carried out every month of every year since 1944, the longest running ocean survey of its type in Australia, if not the world. And it's come up with some important findings. Well, it may look chilly today, but here in Tasmania's southeast, the water has actually risen by two and a quarter degrees over the last 100 years. And scientists believe it's because the East Australian current is pushing further south. And as that warm current moves, so will the marine life. As the East Australia current pushes further and further south, we're going to see overwhelmingly all species found further to the south and in a smaller area than they previously occupied. Um, species like bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna and dolphin fish will all be found further south. For recreational fishermen, species like pink snapper in particular will move from New South Wales and Victorian waters into Tasmania. Dr Alistair Hobday and a team of scientists have just released a report on how climate change will affect our fisheries. The good news for recreational fishers is that many tropical fish species will grow faster and move to more southern waters. We could even be catching billfish in Tassie. From about 2070, we'll start to see water that was off Eden in New South Wales, found down off southern uh, end of Flinders Island around the St Helens area. That means species like marlin or swordfish or even yellowfin tuna will become a lot more abundant off eastern Tasmania. The swim south has already begun. At Hobart CSIRO Fish Collection Lab, they've found 40 species have moved down the Australian coast. So what do we have here? A rock kale, a type of stingaree and a type of wrasse. These three fish are classic examples of how that warm East Australian current is pushing further south. Having only been found off mainland Australia, they are now occurring in Tasmanian waters. Ocean warming also brings bad news for our fisheries. Alistair Hobday says cold water fish like the southern bluefin tuna will lose their habitats on the east coast of Australia, so catches could be more strictly regulated. As tropical fish grow faster, their legal size limits could be reduced, and some commercial fisheries will have to rethink their target species and adjust what they catch. It's all about planning now to ensure the future of our fisheries. We'll have to become more flexible about what species we catch. The time of year at which we catch them may change and also the size at which we capture them may change because growth rates will be different in a warmer world. 